when then Kate Middleton was establishing herself as the last girlfriend standing for Prince William, at some point, she had just successfully waited out everyone else, the British press at the time told everyone that Kate had won her prize because she had never put a foot wrong, that she had always known what she wanted and how to get it. She was seen as some as a manipulator, using patience instead of ultimatums and obsequiousness instead of personality. What we know now is that whatever happened during those nine years of courtship, Kate was barely the architect of the romance. Her mother certainly advised Kate, successfully, and helped move many of the pieces into place. So, as we're coming up on Will and Kate's fourth wedding anniversary, and the birth of their second child, how was the long-term planning of Camp Middleton? What has become more and more obvious with each passing year is that Camp Middleton didn't really plan much beyond getting the ring. Kate was a 29-year-old woman child when she married William, still running home to her mother at the drop of a hat. And after four years, Kate has even grown tired of making the trip to Casa Middleton, so Carol and Michael have pretty much decamped to Anne Hall so that they can take care of Kate and William for months to come. The Daily Mail has a new, epic breakdown of what's going down at Anmar. Some Highlights